Valentine. You see what I'm saying? You invited her to your blog. Everybody, welcome to another live vlog. With Melissa with Lux Lifestyle Events. I'm here with my amazing assistant, Michael Lee, in the house, Miss Lane, if you want to call her. All right. And we're about to go to the van venue and catering to do a venue walkthrough with two of our clients. Um, so, the situation, let's give you a little background about what's going on. With this COVID 19, and what's going on right now with venue location, my two clients had to last minute decide to move their venue, right? So we're moving the venue. We are going to, um, instead of being in Boca, we are now going to be in Hollywood and we're going to Levant. So we gotta do over everything, layouts um, and so forth. Let the client see the room, show them the flow of how everything's gonna happen. So that's basically where we are off to right now to show both clients. This is October 10th wedding and December 5th wedding. All right, so we got a little load of work going on, but then again, we have this new thing where right now with everything that's being released, about another shutdown, Miami Dade is officially shut down today. I don't know what we're gonna do with that no. one. Yeah, so we're in Broward. We're hoping that Broward and West Palm is not next. But you know the trend. Once one go down, everybody go down. So right now we're gonna plan as if everything's gonna be back to normal by October and December. But if not, we have been communicating with our clients that to have a tentative date for next year in mind, if we have to move. Um, it's been a lot. Like today I was talking to um, what, another bride, Courtney, and she was getting very emotional because being a bride and planning now during COVID, it seems like a, a lot. It's very stressful. And I can relate to that as well because you don't know where to start, what's happening. You have to play things by air day to day. And for us as event planners we can pretty much advise you as much as we can you understand there's so much that we can do we're like your planner your counselor your everything you know and plus we have to deal with our mental health our personal life and everything like that and also deal with you guys so imagine the workload the pressure and the stress on top of that so i think for now we as a people we just have to try to do best and follow the guidelines of what we have in place right now and go from there. I don't know, Michael Lee, what you're thinking? I think that we just have to keep positive. And then if anything happens, it's for a reason. Yes. Loki. Loki. So you just gotta go with the flow and see what it do. And what we do. That's pretty much it, people. Um, what I've been advising a lot of the brides too, um, while we're driving. We were, I was advising a few of the, uh, some new brides that reached out to me as well because they were looking to have their wedding this year still. And I kind of said to them, I said, you, what you need to also do and have in mind, guys, that you're planning, have two guest lists. Have a guest list where you're reaching a 50% capacity. Yeah, like 25, 35 people plus your bridal party. Yeah, you know, then, so you're like a 50, 75, depending on where the capacity of the venue yeah. is, right? And then have something where it's smaller. Like really scale down. You have your original guest list that you want your 150. I thought you were saying the first. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. So the first one is have your 50% of the capacity guest list, right? Then the second one is have your original guest list. Just in case, go back to normal next year if you're having a 2021 wedding. Yeah. So what you were planning for, you're like, you know exactly the people that you're going to invite for the smaller scale. You have a plan B in place for that as well. So that you know when you're going forward that you know everything will kind of fall into place. You got two plans. You're not feeling overwhelmed that, oh God, I got to go back over so this you list. Know who and who exactly. Who. You know who and who is going and who's coming. So I think you guys should definitely start looking into things like that because to have a mindset that you're still going to have 250 people come to a wedding now with COVID going on, it's not going to happen. It's being real unrealistic reality, right now. Reality. We, we have to do a reality check. You understand? So, um, I'm going to say
getting you guys to try to keep a mind, um, be mindful of everything that's going on. Um, also understand what the importance is of having a planner. It really is a lot of the stress that you're going through right now. So it's like, if you're trying to do this on your own, listen, you're gonna go through it. Because there's gonna be a lot of communication back and forth with vendors, contract reviews, making sure that you're not getting stupid if the event date gotta change, all that different stuff, right? So, I for one would say to you guys to just have a plan B in place. Get a planner. I'm not saying it because I'm a planner. But get one. But get one. End of story. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it's something where they will be able to take the stress off of you guys. And that helps a whole lot. If my brides can speak to this, they'll tell you. It takes a lot off of their shoulders to know that they have somebody that be able to call on their behalf, get things done on their behalf, and negotiate on their behalf. So I would say try to get that, you know, definitely look into a planner and now if you're still looking for next year now is the time for you to start reaching out to your vendors and get proposals you get contracts so you can review and know who you're really going to go with when you start making those payments because at other times i'm going to say to you right now if you call me when i say i'm gonna take your payment now if you talk about doing a wedding still this year i might not to be honest um because realistically speaking 2020 is over I'm sorry to say. It's July and they're going to shut down again. So. If they're going to shut down again, yes. it's done. So, I, I don't want to be the, the one to rip the band-aid off. But 2020 Brides, if you're going to do anything and you're doing it small, congratulations, good for you. You're in the right direction. But if you're still looking to do something big in 2020, not going to happen. You got to be realistic and cut that down. All right? So now that we're, good, we're driving, I'm on the highway, you know, I know my, my, my little twin over here, Michael E. I don't know if Michael E want to give y'all any advice, but I'm going to no, give it over to her right now. We're going to cut you right now.